All right, everybody, listen up. I've got some good stuff to share with you today. Last week in my video, I talked about the five things that we learned in the wake of the COVID-19 pandemic. And this week, I'm going to be sharing my feelings on four things specifically that we as dealers can do uh, to ensure that we're successful now and in the future. Things that we need to perhaps change or think about differently. The first one is the ability to acquire inventory uh, outside of my market. Okay, I know a lot of you already do that. But there's several solutions today that are allowing us to broaden our scope and our reach of where we buy cars. Uh, and sometimes your market's not going to have enough supply of the inventory that you need. And it's important that we look elsewhere. Okay, I've got some notes up here. The second one is the ability to tap into uh, pri the private market as a source of inventory. There's nearly 41 million vehicles a year just in the U.S. that exchange hands between private parties. And that's an opportunity. It's a massive opportunity. And it's important that uh, we figure out a way to get in the middle of it. Okay, Drivably has developed a solution to help dealers do that. Uh, happy to talk to you about that later. The third one is the ability to make the right buying decisions by utilizing data. Okay, What's happening in and around our market? It's not good enough anymore. Okay, Just relying on what cars are for sale and at what price to market I need to buy them and how fast they're going to turn it's not good enough. We need to look internally at our historical sales and transaction data. And we need to understand based on that data set and what's happening in the market, what precisely we should do and what decisions we should make to maximize the opportunity in our businesses. And number four is a simple paradigm shift in the way that we think about used cars, period. Okay. I have two points on this. First one is we need to stop lowballing customers. If we're going to commit to a strategy or we're acquiring from the public, uh, we can't keep lowballing customers. We've got to be competitive. We've got to step up on our offers. Um, and ultimately, we shouldn't expect, if we're going to buy somebody's vehicle, uh, we shouldn't expect them to buy one of our cars. That's icing on the cake if they do. Um, but we need to start treating those opportunities simply as opportunities to get unique private party inventory to keep up with our consumer demand. Okay, And secondly, create the experience uh, that you would want to have as a consumer. It's simple. Put yourself in the consumer's shoes. Say, how would I want to be treated in this process? Would I want to be pressured into buying another car? No. Would I want to make sure I'm getting a fair value on my car? Yes. Right. Put yourself in the consumer's shoes and create a process where you can do that. Okay. These are the four things that I think are important as we start to think about uh, the inventory that we're going to need to put on our lots to ensure that we keep up with the consumer demand. And by following those, uh, I'm confident you're gonna to continue to grow your businesses. Uh, the gross per unit is gonna go up because of this unique source of inventory. And you're gonna be, be able to keep up with that demand. So hopefully that's helpful. Thanks.